Hello, I want to introduce Ant Media Server Dashboard in this video. This dashboard provides both server statistics and server management capabilities in one convenient place. As you can see here, we have installed applications on the server. We can manage the applications by clicking them from the menu. For an application in the Live Streams tab, you can see the streams on that application. Or you can create a new stream. Now, I have created a test stream, but it is offline because I haven't started to ingest video or audio data into that stream. You can also perform some actions on the streams like recording, restreaming, or deleting. In VOD tab, you will see the VOD files list if you have. Lastly in settings tab, you can change the configurations for the application. By default, there are two applications, LiveApp and WebRTC App EE. They come with Ant Media Server installation. These two applications are totally identical at the beginning, but you can customize them with the configurations by editing application settings. For example, you can enable MP4 recording for one application and disable it for another one. Besides these two default applications, you can create your own streaming application with a different name. If you create an application without providing any WAR file, then newly created application will be identical to the default applications. But if you provide a WAR file, you can also install custom streaming applications. You can find useful applications from Ant Media Server Marketplace. Now I have created a default streaming application. I can delete any application from the dashboard. We can see and change server level settings by clicking Settings in the main menu. Moreover, we can see the server logs or create a support ticket using the main menu. Lastly, everything that you can do from this dashboard is done through the REST API. So you don't have to use this UI to manage your server. You can also manage it with the REST API. Thank you for listening.